Right, moving on to the receiver now of the Uniden Uniace 200 from 1981-1982. So the first thing to do on the receiver is to adjust L6. And L6 is that one. As usual, I'm looking at a cyanide meter and an oscilloscope. Some nasty noise from somewhere. And that's followed by L5. L4. L3 L2 and just turn the signal generator down a bit and L1 L1 being the coil without the can working very well. Sensitivity, let's have a look. Just turn the light off. Sometimes I get fluorescent lights interfering with what we're doing and that's no exception on this occasion. Now I'm going to set the signal drain to for a large signal. We'll switch the other camera on, which I've actually switched on this time. So we're on 100 microvolts, and I'm now going to make sure that we've got maximum audio on the detector, which is L19. For once, that wasn't out. Now we've got S9. We'll check S9's on the meter. And S9... Can't even see where it is on the meter. Do you know it's spot on S9. If we needed to adjust it, then the signal meter is RT1, which is that one there. It does actually say SM on the printed circuit board. So now we'll go for the squelch. Turning the squelch for threshold, switching the signal generator back on. That comes in at a sensible point, which is one microvolt or one and a half microvolts. Now I'm going to set the squelch to full. And see where that comes in on the signal generator. And it comes in at one volt, which is jolly good plus 30 signal. That's all right. So I was really fearful that this set was going to be one of these irreparable ones, but you know the way it was presented with no cases and its guts hanging out, and, and then it's turned out to be quite a, a reasonable set. If we need to adjust the squelch, it's VR2, which is there, which is also labelled. And that's it, we're done. So I'll join you when I put it back together on the air.